I'm Pam, and I'll be your guide as we look at managing process cues. There are two types of managers that we will cover, the process manager and the queue manager. Let's take a look at how each operates. As we begin, be aware that the process admin privilege allows you to do all we will cover, but as a recommendation, we encourage you to actually use the roles of the process and queue managers within your process. The process manager is in charge of overseeing the entire process. Because of this, they will not receive any email notification or notification bell icons for their process. The process manager will need to click on the More menu on the left and select Process Queues to begin. Notice the tabs at the top. It will show you by default the processes you manage. If you have the process admin privilege, you will have other tabs allowing you to see all processes and the Assign to Me tab for queue managers. We will take a look at that tab next. Click the name of the process that you manage to open it up. From the overview screen, the action menu on the right allows you to add or reorder the queue items. You can also archive the process if needed. As a manager, you have the ability to create and edit each of the queue steps in the process. See our video on creating processes to learn more about creating or editing a process step. Once people are added to the queue, Use the queue stats beneath each queue to see its status at a glance. Red items have not been started yet. Green items are in process. Yellow items are waiting for the due date. And black items have not been assigned to a queue manager yet. Finally, gray items are complete. Click on any queue to open it up and see the details of each person. If a person is assigned to someone else besides you, you will need to use the search icon to view people in the queue as the default view shows only people unassigned or people assigned to you. Finally, as a process manager, you do have access to reports. You can only access them from the process overview page. Most of what you do as a process manager is outside of the system. If you find that several people haven't been started or they are overdue, you will need to contact your queue manager to get the process back on track. Next, let's look at the role of a queue manager. This role does have notifications and you will either receive an email or the attention needed bell at the top will show you notifications. Click on the bell and select process queues to view your queues that need your attention. You can either open up the whole queue or you can click on the Assign to Me tab and work with each individual person in your queue. Let's open up a queue and take a look inside. You are able to either click on the name of the person to work through your queue one at a time, or you can use the check boxes to work with multiple people at once. Let's first open just one person. You are shown a modified profile of a person with contact information and additional information in the tabs. Use the action items on the right to perform additional tasks. Your process manager will give you the instructions of what you need to do with the person and once you are done, click the Mark as Done button to complete the task. Make any selections needed on the pop-up window and click Saved when you are done. Back at the queue screen, if you choose multiple people with a checkbox, you will have three buttons at the bottom. The other actions allow you to do mass changes on people without completing the task. Perform whatever tasks are needed on these people in the queue. Use the Mark is Done button when these tasks are complete. The same window with options will show you when you are working with one person at a time. Finally, don't forget that you can use the search icon to find more people in the queue. There you have it. Managing a process is a quick and easy way to accomplish multiple tasks on people at once. For more information on process queues, see our other videos and help articles. Mm -hmm.